or is the ultimate target of all this work is to be able to understand, to make the fields of the soul of the man. At the strength of his work, we have replicated to show the energies of the matter. The ultimate goal is to be able to replicate and produce the energy, the spectrum of the fields of the universe. And one of them be the strength of the field, which lead us to the Creator. This is the work, this is what we are targeting for. And this is not just to show we made elements, it's not to show we, we managed to make a gas. Is a stepping stone towards the ultimate goal. To create that ultimate field, which makes us in that process, allows us in that position, create a condition for us, to board the line, jump on the line, connect with the line to our soul, to the dimension and direction of the soul of the Creator. But we are learning step by step. We are learning gradually. We came in with nothing. We came in with a stick in our hand in the caves. We didn't even know what a fire was, that we understand the energy conversion. We learned step by step about the metals, we mastered them, we alloyed them, we made chemicals, we became nuclear physicists, now we become plasma physicists, and then we become creator physicists. How do we find a line to our creator? And then with that, we become the ultimate goal, we become what all the creation is about, to become that part, parcel of the creation. When you look at the magnetic field of the Earth, it starts from the North Pole and it turns back to the South, as you've seen in many, that Earth is the Creator, is the center. And those fields show the way you can get to the center of it and become part of it, creates its atmosphere, creates its dimension of creation, interaction with others. And this is all the ultimate goal to be able to jump on one of those fields. That in rotation and movement, in the direction of what we call attraction, we become part of, we touch the soul of our Creator within, when we go through it. When a magnetic field goes through the Earth, touches what's inside, in the center, absorbs energies from it. And as we know, the North Pole, the North Pole of the Sun or the Earth is always slightly warmer than the South because it's gathered energy, it's gathered magnetic fields from the center and somehow it's become part of it. And this is the whole subject, this is the whole principle of the teaching, the ultimate goal. Would it come to the point that we can create fields that the interaction of their fields will the interaction of field of our soul puts us on that path that we become in that part of the hemisphere we become that part of the atmosphere and in rotating we create the dimension of manifestation of the existence of the creator now you understand what it means i am the beginning i'm the end i'm the creator and i'm created from the creation of my own now, what's the ultimate goal? How do we make that system? To make what? If you go back to the teaching of the some months and years ago, I thought you, I told you many times, make ganses of ganses. That the interaction of the ganses of the ganses allows you to create that field which leads at the strength if you get it right at a certain position, the strength of the field to get on that line of the loop of the fields of the Creator. How close are you getting or further you are is the strength you absorbed. And then the closer you become, the more enlightened you become, the more you have to give. The fields of the Earth, 50 kilometers, are cold. And the fields which are near, in interaction with the field of other and the inertia, creates life, condition of life. Condition of existence, manifestation, creation. And this is all it is, 
we are somewhere 500,000 kilometers away from the center. And we are trying to jump in frog leap and come into the inner circles to be able to get close enough to Earth, to close enough to the soul of the Creator, that we manifest, we show the creation and the Creator through His creation. Now you understand. And in the coming time, in the coming days and months and weeks, we endeavor to make that system. We are working on it. We are working on making a system that creates the fields of the Creator, the ultimate goal. And then in the interaction with the soul of the man, becomes the wheel of the man. I am in command through the interaction of field of my soul to create what my wishes in a dimension of the wishes of Mitra. We are all servant to her and nothing else. And through serving her, we serve the Creator and nothing else. And Mitra is not the creates creation, is not the entity. It's the principle of interaction of the fields of the universe. It's the path of living. It's the way you interact to lead to creation of the perfection. Now you understand. All this teaching, all this going from gases to this and that and the Magrav system and the rest, has been to bring you gradually to the position to be able to create the fields of the creation. Then, you become the beginning, then you become the end. Depends where you jump into the circle, on the North Pole as it comes out, or on the South Pole as it goes in. But that pole is your soul. That pole is the soul and connection of you with the Creator. Every soul, in the essence of its creation, at the point of its manifestation, has the field, line, common denominator, with the source. There is none, no life, there is no soul, there is no existence in the universe which has no direct connection to the soul of the Creator. Now is our job to find that, to find the strength of, to create, to build systems within ourselves, outside. Man is genius in building machines to replicate and create that field, that single field that in coming in touch with, in connecting to, we get enlightened. And then we see the whole knowledge of the creation. And we become part of the creator that itself is created out of his own creation. It's very much, if you read the book one, is the story of the creation, interaction of the field, which leads to mass and to weight out of interaction of their own by their own. Now where are we going? And how we reach this? We have shown in the position and the power, creation of some 30, 40 elements and organic elements in the past few weeks. Keshe Foundation in collaboration with the Chinese military, now endeavors into the next step in the coming days. We endeavor to create a new condition. We endeavor to show the existence, how actually it starts, and where can we enter the fields, and then where can we exit the fields, for you to get from North Pole to the South Pole, if you're lucky, and you're on a rocket, or you can drive and swim and everything else, takes you a few weeks to get from the North Pole to the South Pole, or at least a few days. But the fields of the Earth from North to the South is instantaneous. Now, we are interacting with the field of the Earth. What about the fields of the Universe, which already interact with the field of the Earth, and we jump on them? And then, what about the fields of the Unicos, which interacts with us within the structure of our Universe? if you get on them. And then we know all these fields come from the fields, existence of the Creator. What about if we jump on that? It's not impossibility, it's the lack of knowledge. It's not that it's in the dream, it's the reality that we have not understood the principle. 
And now we are sitting in that direction of dimension. In the coming days and weeks, we will show a new dimension, a new structure, a new way to think, to interact, to feed. I walk within the fields of the system and I receive what I need as medicine, as food, as energy, as the interaction fields to interact with the Creator. We are entering a new dimension in science and technology. We are entering into a dimension that we can put a blind near the system and he walks out that he can see the whole creation. Not only the physicality of the man and the... And how we will develop this position and condition where you can bring a man blind and walk him out. That he can not only see himself with the eye of the man, but opens the eye of the soul of the man to the world of the creation. It's an unknown science, but we have two choices. We have, we can drown you along in bits and bits, or literally drown you in it. And I think drowning the man will be better because he will learn to swim, than dragging it that the hope he'll one day get to the water. The understanding of the science, the understanding of the technology, the understanding of the knowledge of creation is at the reach of every man. Does need any prophet or any holy book. It needs clarity of understanding. It needs the being in a position, being in a position to accept, to see, to analyze, and then not to judge. As I always said, repeated most of the time, when you came to Linz, we said, we are not there to judge. We accept what you see, what you see. Some saw the mermaid, and some saw and felt the soul of the Christ. Some went on the moon and touched the stone. And some came to see nothing, came blind and went out blind. The arrogance bring blindness. And the servitude bring wisdom, understanding. And that comes through the soul, that comes through the interaction of the fields. In talking to Man, man has seen and has to see everything in the dimension of physicality. In talking to the wise man, he understands the wisdom of the creation and sees the fields. 